Paunchy Fair Towns people, and welcome to the very first ever Iron Mind Metal Monday, the most brutal way to engage the start of your week. This is uh, this is something I, I'd like to do every week is share just the greatest learning opportunity for growth that, that I have had from the last week the struggle that I've had, and I've really gone through and thought about what can I do consistently that I'm excited about and that I think could spread value right now. And starting a blog and trying to write an article every single week with just what I'm trying to do in my life and figure out, I don't feel is sustainable for me. So I've decided to start with this, and I have to started, uh, d- d- decided to start a video log and start vlogging. And as such, you know, this is, uh, this is going to be the start of it. It's going to be raw. It's going to be unedited, mostly because I really want to focus on just bringing quality content. I'm going to start with what I have, and as I go forward, I'm going to upgrade sound quality, video quality, lighting, all those other things, eye contact, maybe editing out the fact that I'm going to mess up when I'm talking. However, here it is, my, my most brutal learning opportunity of the last week. And this is something that hits, hits really close to home. Those of you who are getting this email understand the situation I'm in right now in terms of uh, living and and who I'm living with and who I am helping to support. And something that I I have heard through conversations is the the fallacy of of what a strong human being is and seeing so many people who consider themselves to be strong human beings definition of strong is no matter what they go through, no matter what they deal with, burying it down, ignoring it, not acknowledging it, not taking the time to stop and to keep moving forward no matter what, even if it's 30 years. And I just, I want to dispel that that is what a strong human being does. Yes, a, a mentally strong human being builds mental resilience, builds grit, has tools that when they are going through tough situations, they can struggle through it rather than suffering and they can make progress. But they don't bury things and they understand that when they're going through things that are emotionally incredibly gripping and tough, they need to stop and they need to reflect and they need to transcend what they're going through before. Now, I want you to imagine a pillar or just a tree standing all on its own and how easy it would be just to knock that over if it wasn't rooted. Just a tree trunk. Somebody could just walk over and kick it. And even if it did have roots, even if it was cemented in, you know, all the pressure... Everything that life puts down on it, weather conditions, that tree would not stand. It would break. It would crack. However, if you imagine a network of trees or or other pillars with a strong foundation surrounding it, it creates a network of stability. And something I really love about trees and something I'm going to use as uh, a big metaphor going forward is just how they create community. So a network of trees has their entire root system interconnected. And in fact, in a forest, when one tree is starting to be attacked, all the other trees in that network sense it through the root system, and they will start to send an immune response to that other tree to help it. So we are not strong human beings on our own. We are strong human beings, ultimately, as the extension of our network and who we have surrounding us and the diversity that we have surrounding us and the depth of those roots that we have surrounding 
and connected to us. And when we have that along with, with our ability to be resilient human beings, to be able to struggle rather than suffer, that is where true strength comes from in the long term. And that's what I'm learning. And I'm just so blessed to have the incredible relationships I have. And you know that I don't have superficial relationships in my life. I, I don't tolerate them. I only want rich relationships of great depth that have roots, that go far below, that interlace, that have intimacy, that have vulnerability. So very, very blessed that, uh, that all of you watching this right now are in my life. And if it gets shared to other people, I, I hope it adds value to you. So I'm, I'm just going to share with you a, a little bit of, of the vision of, of what I want to do. Um, there's a, a link in the bottom of the email. I have a Patreon. You do not need to feel obligated. As I'm building, uh, I, I'm going to be adding to that more and more. But you know, right now, it's just I think week upon week, I'm going to see what I can improve in terms of infrastructure. Uh, if you would like to support me through that, all the money that I get is going back into building Iron Mind. It's going to be going into, as I kind of mentioned before, upgrading sound quality, upgrading video equipment, paying for uh, the website hosting, eventually not having to just ask people for emails and do it manually, but eventually getting a, an actual email uh, list server that can do that and that I can formulate things and streamline things and just just make kind of life a little, a little bit easier for myself and make presentation a little bit more professional for everyone else um, and as well it's literally something that that hit me a couple days ago as, as I was thinking about the modern renaissance that has already started we're just at, at the beginning and it is it is going to hit the world like a freight train believe me is that uh, in the renaissance period Artists had patrons who saw the value in their work, in their beauty, in their innovation, and in their drive to progress. And those patrons supported them. And I, I thought to myself, that's, that's what Patreon is. Patreon is, is a platform for artists, and it's only a few years old, but that's exactly what it is. Patreon is the modern digital patron for artists for innovators, for people who are looking to change the world if they create quality content and can add value. And that's that's really what I want to do. You guys who, who know me well and, and anybody who might be getting this email and watching this video, what you know about me or will soon learn is that I'm probably one of the most intense people uh, I know, if, if not personally. And uh, I, I'm relentless when it comes to improvement and personal growth and wanting to make things better. Uh, I have a huge vision for what I want to do. Forging the mind for the modern renaissance is, is something that I, I want to take globally, and I, and I want to impact as many lives as I can possibly can in a positive way through significance. Um, what I'm going to be really starting off with is mental health and music, two of my absolute favorite things, and, and building from there and seeing where it goes eventually wanting to do a podcast, wanting to do maybe larger YouTube productions and, uh, and just taking it, taking it where I can. So, uh, I just, I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this. It's you know going to be almost nine minutes of your life and, uh, just, just super blessed. So, uh, uh, Marcy, which is my chief or Métis for goodbye and, uh, looking Looking forward to seeing how this goes and grows in the future. Cheers.